Hi, I'm Seamless, and in association with ADSR, I'm here to bring you another FL Studio 12 work tip, workflow tip. <clears throat> anyway, today we're going to be talking about the currently selected mixer insert, which you might be thinking, uh, and it's an insert, it's a special kind of insert that's there and it does particular things. You might be thinking, okay, well, where is it? Because here's the master, here's a bunch of inserts, here's the four that are over here by default, but then, no, it's right there. Oh, how much? How many of you didn't know that that was a thing? That this is a mixer insert? It's kind of hidden there, isn't it? And it has a very specific purpose. What it does is that it allows audio from the currently selected mixer insert to run through this. However, there's no out. You see, it doesn't actually go anywhere. It's not routed to anything. And you actually can't route to anything. Its whole purpose is essentially to have a special kind of analysis go on, which is really whatever you want it to be. And also other handy things, like if you want to do... Uh, recording of specific ins inserts that are in at any moment, but only want to have one Edison, you can have it in here, and then whatever you're clicking on, it's going to route through there, and then route through that Edison. It's pretty handy stuff. So, for example, if I, I have this beat here, and if I select the first uh, input, which is the kick, you can see the kick show up in this wave candy that I've created that's inside the currently selected mixer insert. So the big C that's up there. And then I come up here and click on this thing. Now it's got that one hat thing, and then... So this is how you're able, essentially, to set a particular, I guess, expectation of signal. And really, it's not really designed for any one particular thing. It just happens to be good at this kind of, like, free-form analysis where you don't have to have a wave candy for every individual thing, and you can have it up open and actually just click on it, and then it'll go into the one thing you want to have it to go into. And you'll see it. It'll be fine. And it'll be there. Um, I've, I've all, honestly personally been using it mostly as just a big a big meter because it's there it's with, with, with this big meter. So you can see the thing there. You could, of course, also put in a literal big meter which is somewhere is it in here i don't know where it is i never i never really i don't personally use it a lot but uh if i wanted to ah oh, here it is free free db meter so if i selected anything uh, this guy or this guy or that guy we're able to have essentially on the fly analysis of whatever you want to have happen and of course, whatever else you want to come in through, through here will still come in through here. And whatever effect you want to have in there, it'll still do that. So like, if you want to see what it'll look like, I guess, recorded with distortion or whatever, it's it's really up to you. Much much like most things in FL, it's kind of up to you about how you want to use this particular ability. But I wanted to let you know that this is a thing that exists. It is, a, it is actually its own mixer insert that's designed for this very specific purpose. Anyway, if you have any questions about that, which I'm honestly not, wouldn't be too surprised about, because I didn't even know that was a thing for the longest time. But let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. ADSR Business. And also myself, Steve Lazar. And as usual, have a nice day.